or distraction. They see those plates up here, they think it's really all the There are there are many things that that stays on the first lady in my mind a lot of times. We very observant in a lot of things, but I've been here 13 years. So I'm working on 14 this around the corner here. And in the 14 years, you sometimes people think you don't appreciate what you do and what you do. <coughs> my, my mother used to tell me, God bless her heart. Said, give me my flowers while I yet live. Here we use that, not on mom's side, but I understand what she was talking about. All right. In the course of that, All right. we find ourselves in a way to say thank you. And you know, the devil will try to rob and steal and destroy anything he can. But when you least think, God always has a way to live and feel you all up. And I just want to take this time out to recognize one of many, and there's more down the pike here, but I try to move in the Lord's session. Move ahead of you in trouble. Somebody say amen. 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 Leadership is a key factor. And I'm not talking about the military now. I'm talking about just in general. But I learned within the military itself that, that there are leaders, leaders, there's traits and principles. And I found these these folks to be to have not only principles, but they got strong counseling skills. Uh, they know how to minister uh, to people. Uh, their family have been a strong portion of this place of worship. Not only are they community oriented, but they, they're just community wide. They're everywhere. Um, when you're sick, uh, they know how to help you get well, whether it be physical or spiritual. And I can say a million things about them, but their leadership has turned this entire community upside down. Leaders who, who do this, usually sometimes they find themselves wandering away from the very people that, that help build them up. But I've known these people both to be very humble, uh, very admirable in more ways than one, and the spiritual needs even when they're going through something, they still push it hard uh, in the name of Jesus. And they don't really know who I'm talking about because it could be anybody that I'm looking at right now. But it's, these are not just anybody. These are somebodies. Uh, amen. When there was circumstances where we could not and we failed to fall in and be in line, uh, they were always there to help minister in one way or the other. The strongest portion of when I couldn't pull like I wanted to, had to slow down. They were there, even in ministry. And just recently, one of them just just overdid themselves, along with a few others. But I can think clearly, and I'm going to make this real quick. This the, this family have we just received two, three good blessings in ministers. But there are other leaders in here that have come forward. We got two brand new deacons who are working hard in the community. But if you got one plaque, you'd have to get the other one. But they're a strong team. And that's what makes the difference uh, in serving God. We have to have the team attitude, not the catch all or I did it all. And I want to say thank you from the first family. More ways than one uh, to these two awesome people who have really made a serious dent in my life. Uh, when they cry, I'm crying. Uh, when they laugh, I'm tickling myself. Uh, when they walk, they walk upright, and they they don't they don't take no stuff off nobody. When it comes to God's word, uh, scripturally oriented, I've observed this over the years even in the downtime. So I want to present uh, this plaque. It doesn't mean that much. It's a piece of cardboard with a clock on it. But it's what's in our hearts. And I told my wife I was going to make a presentation today, uh, even in the absence of, because I wanted to go ahead and do this while I have a chance. I don't know when the surgery is going to take place. Um, 
I am blessed today because of their leadership and because of their words of wisdom and because they set the example for this place of worship. I would like to ask Deacon Bailey. And Deacon is great. Yeah. 
loved ones. Friends and loved ones. They give me flowers when I'm sick. And on my sick bed. But I'd rather have yes. one tulip right now than a whole basket of flowers when I'm dead. All right. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Give me my. Amen. Come on, give God.